Just a disclaimer, I am not responsible for any damage or uh, injury from using information in this video. Alright, the Audio Engine A5 Plus have worked great for me for about 8 years now. I am finally having some issues with the right hand speaker uh, cutting off intermittently. I have narrowed it down to the uh, amp being the issue. Uh, the amp is in the left hand speaker. In this video, I will show you how to convert this speaker from uh, an active speaker to a passive speaker, which means that you will need a separate amp. So I have opened up the right hand speaker to get an idea of what the crossover looks like. Uh, it's that circuit board right there. Uh, a crossover is just electronics that split the audio signal into a different frequency range for these respective drivers. Before doing the modification, I've actually already hooked it up temporarily to uh, my spare extra amp. And uh, it actually sounds better than the uh, amp that was built into the Audio Engine A5 Plus. Alright, the amp is uh, built into this uh, back plate. Um, there are 10 screws total that you need to remove. You don't need to remove these uh, small inboard screws that hold some electronics in place. You may need to wiggle it or pry it a little bit for the whole assembly to come off, especially if it's never been open in a while. Disconnect the main speaker plug. This one you also have to push a tab in and then try to wiggle it out, it's a little bit tight. This is for the uh, indicator light and the control knob. And inside, of course, you can see the crossover. It looks to be the same or similar one as the ones in the right hand speaker. The uh, modification is actually very simple. I just need to connect this speaker wire right here to these uh, red and black connector uh, that goes to the back of the panel. That way I can connect it to the amp. I am using a needle nose plier to remove these two nuts. I'll just tape these two connectors up with electrical tape just in case someone decided to hook the power back up to this amp. Alright, I don't have any of these uh, connectors, uh, extra connectors available to hook up there. So I'll be robbing the connector from the uh, board. And guys, if you don't have a good wire stripper, I highly, highly recommend this uh, vice grip. It's basically an automatic uh, wire stripper, uh, and it's incredible. I'll put a link in the description below in case you would like to get one. This thing works like magic. At this point, you can pretty much screw on this wire uh, with the uh, nuts, but I am going to do it right by putting in a couple of uh, crimp connectors.
we'll just install these connectors real quick obviously black to black red to red make sure you put in these uh, lock washers that was in there uh, that way it doesn't uh, come loose from the vibration I'll just add a bit of blue thread lock to the uh, top of the thread just for some extra measure. That's really about it. You know, hook this speaker wire back up to your new connector and you're all set. Put all the 10 screws back in. So now these uh, two connectors back here obviously will not go to your uh, right hand speaker anymore. They will need to go straight to your amp. Hey, thanks for watching guys. If this video is helpful, please uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And I'll have the uh, link to some of the tools I use in the description below. Take care.